Assassin's Creed Shadows looks to be making some drastic changes to the beloved franchise and there's a ton of info about the game. So let's rip the band-aid off and start by saying this game will be current gen only. PS4 and Xbox One gamers will be missing out. The game takes place in feudal Japan in the year 1579 during the Izushi Momoyama period and sees a range of activity including Portuguese merchants, legions of samurai and shinobi. It's set in a large open world just as big as AC Origins and you'll play as two protagonists, Yuzu Yuzuke and Naue. Yuzuke is a real historical figure who was brought to Japan by a Jusuit missionary and then became a samurai, while Naue is an agile shinobi who likes stealth but knows how to fight and can use a grappling hook to traverse the environments. Yuzuke is more of a brute with head-on combat, utilizing parries, breaking armor plates and has brutal decapitation finishers, while Naue uses a kurosagama which is basically a chain that can whip around and keep enemies at a distance. A pretty cool feature is that each protagonist has their own personal Personal quests, but you'll also have the option to freely switch between both protagonists a la GTA 5, enabling a seamless transition between characters in the open world and even join other objectives. You now have the option to complete a pacifist playthrough if you wish, as you have the ability to knock out enemies instead of being forced to lethally attack them. To tie in with this stealth theme, players can now go prone to aid in sneaking around. Your environments will now be much more reactive to damage, as the team focused on destructibility elements to show realistic damage from the likes of Sword Slide and arrow puncture marks. Tying in with your environment, the game will progress through the four seasons, including spring, summer, fall and winter, with your surroundings adapting to these seasons. For example, you may be able to crawl through a pond during the summer, but come winter, that same pond will be frozen over. The game will be running on an updated anvil engine and has a new fully dynamic lighting system that will allow for much more interaction with the elements and your environment, with a focus on illumination from sources such as sunlight, torches and lanterns. To add to the dynamic environment, an example the devs mentioned is how grass grows during the different seasons, tying into how you adapt your stealth tactics. Grass will grow tall during the spring, allowing you to hide from enemies, while in the fall, the grass begins to die off, removing this as an option. The environment can also hurt your stealth endeavours too, as icicles hanging from the buildings in the winter can break off when walked over, revealing your position to the enemy, so this is just another thing that you'll have to keep in mind. AC Shadows also plans on taking a leaf out of Splinter Cell's book, is you will now be able to take out light sources to evade detection, offering another cool way to interact with your environment. And a pretty badass feature we're excited to learn more about is the introduction of a customizable hideout that allows you to grow and train your own shinobi league, along with the ability to craft new gear, interact with your team of shinobis, and even completely customize your base's layouts, decorations, and accessories to live your best shinobi life. A sim simulator in Assassin's Creed? I never thought I'd see the day. From what we've seen so far, some of the huge Japanese style castles are stunning, but they're not just pretty to look at, they actually add a new element to the game. We don't know a ton about it, but from what we understand, these castles are significant landmarks throughout the open world that essentially act as dungeons and have their own levels and objectives for you to complete. And the devs seem to be really leaning into the open world aspects in AC Shadows 2, as there's a lot more freedom as to how you tackle the objectives, allowing you to take down your assassination targets in any order instead of following a strict, rigid style of play. And this last point point is definitely going to split the fan base, as there are now no longer any synchronization points to reveal POIs on the map. Instead, these vantage points are used for you to manually assess your surroundings. AC Shadows is definitely a huge pivot from what we've come to expect from an Assassin's Creed game, as AC Mirage was more of a return to the OG roots of the series with a much more linear format, whereas it's obvious with this title, it's a drastic shift away from this format. From everything released, it seems obvious that the devs want to move away from the OP warrior style characters they ultimately ended up creating with the likes of Valhalla, instead guiding you towards more of the path of, well, really being an assassin. Yes, we're seeing some things removed that OG fans of the game will not appreciate, with the previously mentioned synchronization points being a thing of the past. But in turn, all of these new stealth elements and a focus on adapting to your surroundings sounds kind of exciting. And if they actually pull off half of what they say on paper, this will really feel like you're living the life of two of the deadliest assassins to exist. What do you think? Do you like these new changes? Let us know in the comments down below and why you've been watching this video. YouTube's algorithm has been cooking up the perfect video from our channel just for you. So why not go give it a watch?